everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over a Funko Pop. We are going to talk about some stuff and you know what? <laughs> I have no idea what else. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of Yes I Right Here, Aaron! Alright everyone, I need to throw this out there. I know a lot of you were very disappointed in me when I started buying all those Baruto Funko Pops. And I have to say, oopsies. But you know what today was? It was the second chapter of the Baruto Magna. And as I said before, I wanted to kind of touch base on every time a chapter comes out just so I can keep ahead of the traffic. So, let's start off with the beginning. In the beginning, we have Baruto being husky as shit, of course, or at least he thinks so, telling everybody, hey, listen, I'm back, baby. I'm better than ever. Hey, Code, if you ain't gonna leave this town alone, I'm gonna have to mess you up. I'm gonna have to slice and dice you, motherfucker! Now, I'm not too sure if he actually said I'm gonna slice and dice you, motherfucker, but he did say that I am going to beat your ass, and Code just looked at him and was like, yeah, right. But then he was told, Baruto told Sarah, hey, listen, there's still people running around, people are still getting killed, people are still getting hurt. Do you think you could handle some of them? And of course, Sarah was like, yeah, I got you, buddy. And she ran off and tried to defeat some of the Ten Tails chopped creature thingies. Uh, and then you get to see everyone else uh, fighting them. You got to see uh, Sh Sh Shikita, Shikata, whatever, I can't remember his name, uh, Shikamaru's kid, he's doing a shadow bind, he's like getting those creatures and shit, and, and they're weak, some of them are weak, and some of them are stronger, um, and they kind of notice that, and then, you know, they start coming at him real quick, uh, all the other, like, young Baruto people come in, uh, Eno and what's his face's kid? They're flying on a bird. Uh, you got Choji's kid, Chow Cho Cho. She's there. She's messing some of them bad boys up. But then again, they're starting to you know take over. There's so many of them. They just like spawn out of each other, out of their mouths and their stomachs. So and then every time they defeat one, three more spawn. And then here comes Kawaki. We got Himawari. She's on like the bird and she's falling to the ground. And then you got Kawaki who saves her and then puts her back on the ground. Or I don't know. Someone saved her. I can't remember anymore. And she's like, thanks, big little big bro. And Kawaki looks at her and goes like, yeah, don't call me that. And she's like, whoa. So... I don't know, because, you know, where I mentioned in the last one, Hamari was like, ah, I don't know what's going on with Bruto. Something seems familiar about him. I think Kawaki's going to, like, bash her so bad where she's like, you used to love when I called you big bro. Tee hee. So I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that was a little spoiler for what's going to happen ahead of the game. But we're not there yet. Because we still got to cut back to Bruto and Code. Now, all of a sudden, Bruto's this big badass he knows everything that's going on. He knows all about Code's technique, all about the Ten Tails. I guess him and Sasuke on their time off had great timing to like sit down. And Sasuke probably was like, listen, yo, this Ten Tails shit ain't something to play around with. We had a whole war. Uh, someone took in control of them. We fought Kaguya, me and your dad. You know, we probably put our hands together, you know, did a little dance, and we sealed the shit out of her. But whatever it has been now. Apparently, Baruto's taking major control. He's husky. He's telling Code, like, yo, these things are going to cause a problem. And why you have them under your control? Dude, stop. Stop! Tell them to go back together. Show me where the Ten Tails body is. But if you remember, he smashed the Ten Tails body into all these clones. So there is no body of the Ten Tails, unless maybe I, I can't remember something, or the Ten Tails is still there, and he just like absorbed his power to make all those fusion monsters. Anything is a possibility in Baruto. They can just make shit up. But I wasn't really excited about what was going on. I was waiting for something dramatic or something to pull me in because the first chapter that they released of Baruto, it, it kind of got me going and going like, hey, maybe this is going to be good. You know, Baruto just showed up. There's a big attack on the town. And now on the second chapter, you're giving me like 18 pages of dialogue and fodder fights. I don't want to see fodder fights and I don't want 18 pages of dialogue on a manga that I'm only getting once per month. That is not doing anyone any justice. So, you know, after they had this whole conversation, 
Code's like, yeah, Bruno, do you remember what happened on the last fight, dude? Like, you sucked. I, I beat the shit out of you. And Bruno's like, yeah, dude, look at your eye, bro. Do you want, do you want to lose another eye? Because I'll, I'll, I'll mess you up. So they just talk shit back and forth. Bruno was just like, I'm just husky now. After these, uh, was it two, three years, two or three years, four years, four years maybe. I think it might have been four years. Uh, I'm back and I'm better than ever. So, I, I mean, Baruto didn't do anything too husky except, like, smash a freaking clone thing with his foot. Eh, so, eh. Oh, wait a second. He did. He did. A bunch of the uh, Ten Tails clones attacked him, and he took out his sword and, like, slice, 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 slice. He sliced some He sliced some clone clones up. He did. He did. He used a sword, and he messed some of them bad boys up. And, and people are just looking at him like, oh, <laughs> he is maybe just a little bit huskier than he used to be. Uh, he's got to have some kind of power. He must have controlled some kind of karma ability or something. I mean, he's been with Sasuke for four years. And they ain't just, like, talking about the past, right? So, Baruto finally, you know, says, listen. If you don't want to do this shit and you really want to fight me one-on-one, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. I will deek the shit out of you. I'm not that kid anymore. And then Code's like, mm, well, maybe... So I think Baruto does something else, and uh, Code's like, all right, maybe you're not bluffing, you know. And then, you know, Baruto's like, all right, well, now it's time to get really husky. And he says, Rezengin, Shigori, or something like that. And, and then all of a sudden, the Rezengin, like, starts going around him. So what I'm thinking is, based on this attack, it's kind of like uh, Sasuke's lightning when he does, you know, the Chidori, and, it, you know, the Chidori stream, or whatever the hell he calls it. I think Baruto now can put the Rezengan all over his body. And we all know that Baruto's Rezengan is the huskiest Rezengan because it can't be seen. So if this dude can fight with a permanent defense and slice you up every time you fight him, bah, 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 slice, 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 slice. I, I, that's, that's a pretty husky move. I will admit that is pretty husky, but that's how it ended. And, and I know they're gearing up and they're probably going slow for, you know, a big chapter to come out. And blow us all away. Well, I'm still waiting to be blown, baby. Wait, that sounded a little weird. I'm waiting for... <laughs> Alright, I'm even going to cry to correct myself on that bad boy. But yeah, I'm just waiting for something to happen. So far, like I said, the first two chapters are, are meh at the least. I give them like a 6 out of 10. And that's just me being generous. Uh, it's, it's not making me, you know, want to say, oh, what's going to happen next month. It's, you know, I, I'm not craving for what's going to happen. And generally, I like to crave for my next uh, delicious meal of anime or manga. Because when I read One Piece every single week, I'm like, I need to know what's going on next week. Like, if you're ending on a cliffhanger, I need to know what's going on. And if you're ending on a non-cliffhanger, I still want to know because that's how invested... I am in the story. And with Baruto, is it's it's kind of like a toss in the air. I really would love to be invested in this uh, manga, uh, but I'm not. Now, let's give this anime an up or a down. Uh, this Baruto chapter, I am giving you a down. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't think you were a pimp. I didn't think you were a lead. And uh, hey, you just got a down. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me at 8 Minutes Aaron. I will see you next time when we talk about some other stuff and some other junk. See you later. Bye.